The lyric content of this song came about in mid-September 2012. I was waiting on my US visa to clear and ended up getting stranded in Dublin, which is a damn good place to get stranded for three weeks. Thanks again, Brian and Scarlett for saving my ass. This song is a lullaby for the Antichrist. It's not about God. It's about how we need a concept of God being religion, aliens, money, any divine all-powerful force that we devote ourselves to building and damning and judging others with. Then we eventually tear the whole thing down when we get sick of it. Then we pass it on to our children, thus poisoning the next generation. But what happens when you take that away from a community? Are we ready to remove God, money, ultimate evil, ultimate blame, and therefore the ultimate scapegoat? The chorus states that the main reason for war, disorder, hunger is God or money or terrorists, but each of us needs to ask, how can we fix these problems as they occur in our small corner of the world? Clangy, bangy, wild mayhem that is laced with melody. Chris Kling recorded the drums on an electronic MIDI drum kit. We then assigned drum sounds that were sampled from a drum kit we built from an excursion to Home Depot. Chris is one of the best drummers I've come across. He can do tight, precise drumming, but he's also not afraid to pound the drums like a wild man of rock, similar to the sound of John Bonham from Led Zeppelin. George Bykos once again brings mad and wild guitars, playing simple and concise riffs that are mad and wild. George is the god of punk rock. His sound is wild and yet exact. His style fights beautifully with Angel Spit's mad, crazy wall of synthesizers. Angel Spit songs are usually built on minor chords, but this song is built on major chords, and each chord moves out of the key of the previous chord. This gives a powerful, sci-fi, ethereal sound. Additional vocals by the Deadly Miss Ballistic, and this time, some help from Alex Weaver. This track is built on Emacs 1 and Emacs 2 sounds. Most of the drum sounds were played on the Emacs 1. It gave it a thumpy, massive, crunchy, fuck off sound. The Emacs 2 supplies massive spaceship taking off sounds. The Emacs 2 is a digital sampler that was released in the early 90s and it still really packs a punch. The Emacs 1 is obviously its previous incarnation and is famous for its lo-fi gritty sound. The bleeps and synthesized mayhem came from the dope for MAQ. 163, which was powering the rest of the module. This song talks about neglect and salvationism. Salvationism is a theory I have. Once upon a time, we believed that Jesus would come and save us from our self-induced clusterfuck. He would kill the vermin, clean up the earth, and send us to heaven. It's the perfect passive-aggressive answer for anyone who's too cowardly to lift a finger, because dying and going to heaven is better than dealing with our shit. Right? Once we decided God was dead, we moved the focus to aliens. They would come, take over the world, eat most people, and leave a scarce few alive to survive and rebuild the planet. Because being attacked by aliens and having everything burned to ash is better than dealing with our shit right? Then we move the focus to killer viruses and the zombie apocalypse. Blah blah blah, 99% perish, the survivors have to start again, blah blah blah, because being wiped out by a horrible planet killing disease is better than dealing with our shit, right? Either that, or they come, cure cancer, give us warp drive technology, and punish all those greedy pigs who made this planet a sty. Meanwhile, we sit on our fat asses eating pizza while being chauffeur driven around the universe using somebody else's hard work and technology.